Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday. How's everybody doing? This crazy, my God, up a up, 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 locked market, up a thousand points. Phil, good morning to you. Mike, Dennis, good to see you all. Chuck, Gene, Donna, everyone. Happy Friday. By the way, you know what today is? Today is Friday the 13th. <laughs> and I heard we have a big super, super moon out there. Pretty scary, right? All right. Well, listen, um, obviously you heard the, the news last night. Uh, it trickled down into today. I told you the stock market actually, uh, that big correction we had, not yesterday, but a couple of days ago, a lot had to do is because Congress couldn't come up with a plan, obviously, in fighting in Congress, you know, about coming with a stimulus. And uh, it looks like they came out with some type of stimulus. Uh, Nancy Pelosi came out and said, we're probably going to have a vote on something early this morning. The Senate will look at it on uh, on Monday. So the market likes that. So that's a very good thing um, for the market. The market does like that. And I'm telling you right now, I really think that uh, – after a while, I was, I've been up late and I've been up early and, you know, I've been listening to a lot of people on TV, a lot of, a lot of analysts, a lot the market's factoring this in about a month into it. And, you know, after hearing what they're saying about the coronavirus, they're, they're expecting, we didn't even, this is just the beginning. It's but the bad's going to start coming in about within the next two to four weeks where we're really going to start seeing people really get sick and the numbers are really going to take off. You could see New York and everyone's trying to get ahead of this uh, regarding about this coronavirus. So, you know, th this is my point that I want to make out, uh, uh, I want to point out that I, I found out that, that I, that my analogy, first of all, I want to tell you right now, this is nothing like the financial crisis. Okay. I just want you guys to know that this is nothing like it at all. All right. This is a, um, this is a, you know, a temporary fix, you know, I, I cancel my Delta tickets. They don't give you a refund, okay? They just give you credit for another future flight. That's basically it. You know, it's not like they lost the money. They still have the money for all these plane tickets. A lot of these companies are, are you know, I heard that Universal closed, you know, down. Everything's closing left and right. I mean, they're really trying to get ahead of it. But the thing that I want to try to get to is that if you if you love the market when it was at 29,000, you're probably drooling right here. If you really think... OK, that this market's not going to be where uh, be, uh, go back up within a year, then short the market and get out of the market. If you really think this market is it, you know, because of this this catastrophe. I mean, listen, I've been through this before and you keep hearing people and say, hey, the market's going to come back. It's going to come back. Unfortunately, we don't know where the bottom is. We really want to buy the bottom. Michael says, yep, a huge opportunity ahead. I know. And you know what? I'll tell you the truth. I lost money yesterday. I was really ticked off yesterday. And you know what? Uh, I lost more than I wanted to, but if I if I didn't take that big loss, I would have doubled that loss um, if I trading going into the close. So there's you know there's some big big uh, corrections in the market. Now the market right now is locked. You know uh, until the market opens up, we're up about you can see the Dow right now. I'm looking at it on TV right now. It's at eleven thousand. I mean eleven uh, eleven hundred. It's uh, it's locked. So we have to wait till the market opens up. But there's some great opportunities. You know, listen, I I don't know where to start, but you know, listen, I'm hearing everybody that are drooling about certain stocks. They wish they bought this. They wish they bought that. I mean, I'm even looking at long term. I'm looking at, I mean, uh, Boeing. I mean, it took five years to get to 400. It came, it lost it all in about three weeks. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, they have other problems. I mean, Delta. I mean, all the, the these these shipping stocks. I mean, uh, uh, shipping. I keep saying shipping. Cruise companies. It, it, you know, if you're looking for the next two to three years down the road, and you look like you know, you could have bought these stocks three years ago. I'm like, darn, I should have bought them. And they're there. Well, guess what? They're back to where they are because of this damn little stupid virus. You know what I mean? So the point is this. There's some great opportunities out there. And, you know, just I know everyone's getting, you know, doesn't know yet. It's You need to see some consistency. You know, I mean, people like, are you a buyer here? You know, I don't know. I mean, I am, but I, I, I do want to buy. I want to, I want to, I, I, there's so many positions I want to do, uh, you know, make some long-term swing trades on it. Because remember, being a good day trader makes you an amazing swing trader. And, you know, here is like, you know, been a day trading's dream, but doing great. Uh, brokerage firms, by the way, I think are going to kill it. I think they're going to have record, record months. Uh, so those companies, I would definitely keep, keep an eye on it because everybody's just trading like crazy. CSQ, yes, Ken. I mean, I, look at that thing. I, I bought it yesterday, okay? I bought it yesterday. I bought it back. I bought more. You know, the stunt company pays you 9.5% interest, and it pays you every single month. They raise their dividend. I mean, uh, last time I bought this cheap was last year. 
you, and, you know what I'm saying? So it's like there's a lot there's a lot of great crazy buys out there. You know what I mean? It's like – and you're going to kick yourself in the butt. Listen, if you think the market – this is the way I look at it. I tell everybody. If you really, really, really think the market's going to go back to like 15000 10000 then sell everything. Short it. That's all. That's fine. You know what I mean? Listen, if you – but if you think – me personally, I've been through four catastrophes, you know, and every single one of them I kick, you know, I, uh, I made a fortune on it, and everyone's like, "Wow, you remember that?" I ha we haven't had something like this in what since 2008, since the financial crisis. And look, the, 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 you know, when Obama had to deal with the financial crisis, a lot of people didn't like that. You know, we bailed out the banks. But if you were in the trading industry like us, you you got you killed it. Okay, now you're having Trump that's dealing with a catastrophe. If he does the if he does the right thing like Obama did with the financial crisis, some people might not like what he does, whatever. But if he does the right thing, the market's gonna come. It's gonna do great. So it's your opportunity way to look at it. So we got to make sure our our, our 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 government fixes what's going on. And uh, only thing I feel good about it, I'm telling you, this is nothing like the financial crisis. Nothing like p banks were going out of business. OK, and people are going to the bank and taking their cash out. This is just a stupid little virus that's screwing everything up for everything. And, you know, as a trader and, and you being in the business, you guys got to get you, you got to lock and load. You really got to lock and load. All right. So listen, there are a lot of good buys out there. I don't need to go through a list like, you know, Ken, you brought up CSQ, GM, you know, Ferrari. I mean, look at these stocks uh, race. I, I like race for one reason, one reason only. They already came out with bad news. This is a, you know, an Italian company, great company, made a lot of money in it. Stock got crushed. This is exactly where I, where I sold it. Wish I had it. But listen, they're already in the middle of their catastrophe, right? They're already crushed already in Italy. You know, They shut it down. So people always ask me, when's a good buy, time to buy? I tell them when, when the worst of the worst of the worst comes out and it doesn't go any lower, that's when it's time to buy. So we're having that you – know, we're having that – conversation right now that's basically what's going on um you just gotta have to know how to just you know gotta you can't look short term you gotta look long term if you do it looking as a swing trade now we're talking about great great swing trade opportunities uh you got that uh, i'm a big fan of boeing like i said uh, i was just watching mark cuban on tv he's you know he's obviously in the entertainment business he's like i'm drooling on uh live nation you know I mean, obviously it didn't even drop that much for crying out loud uh, I don't know why it likes it so much. It really didn't go anywhere, <laughs> Live Nation. But, you know, because obviously entertainers still have to make money. So there's just there's some, some really, really, really good buys out there. All right. Uh, now, regarding about the, the, the Corona stocks, I'm telling you, I think that that ship has gone and sailed. Um, not really seeing that much out there with a lot of the Corona stocks. There's a couple of them that are moving. You got this OPK that's, that's moving pretty nicely this morning. Uh, you know, had a big pop came right back down it's a little bit more of a day trade you could see it was pretty uh, pretty damn volatile out there um you have some of these other stocks some of these other etfs the brzu it's got a nice little pop right there oil made a little bit of a comeback you know made a little bit of a comeback but it looks like things are just starting to you know right now we're at that 9 30 9 9 30 time frame so we're kind of pretty much we're uh kind of like flattening out right now things are things are we're right now in the ugly stages but you know royal caribbean just want to bring that up rcl big big pop i mean only a 140 down to 30 stocks up seven bucks this morning very very volatile and you know what it, it as a swing trader like i'm still listening to some of the analysts on tv they still not sold on this on this uh little bit of a rally anything can happen i know uh mnuchin is going to be coming out talking about the financial markets you know when whenever they come out they talk about what they're going to do we get this huge spike like we had yesterday when when the federal reserve came out and then boom the market bounced a thousand and look what happened it just tanked again so uh regarding about swing trading listen if you love a company you know, if you really, really love a company, you wish you could have had, I think this is your opportunity to get it cheap again. So you might have to deal with a couple of more 10, 20 percent swings. But like I said, if you look over the next year or two, you know what? I'll, you're never going to see. That's what you got to look at. You're never going to see this again. That's the way I look at it, you know. So uh, and I'm talking brand names and I'm talking real solid companies. That's the one thing you got to look at. Real solid companies, you know, are not going to go out of business. Uh, are you talking right now, Kevin? OK. All right. So. Um, 
that's you know let's see what he says and the you know obviously him charged with finance he's working a deal with with Pelosi on the Congress uh, about about that new uh, about about a deal to get done you know, some type of stimulus so hopefully that's going to work out but the market likes it but we don't know what the market's doing because it's locked right now but anyway there are a couple of stocks out there that that are are are, are moving guys be careful with the ETFs. Because these things are so damn volatile, you know, you're going up, they're going down, they're just so damn crazy. The VIX, you know, now it's down 20%. Uh, TV, uh, TVIX, I mean, this thing went from 50 to 300. Now it went to 460 last night. It dropped. I mean, you got to be really, really careful of the stock. Trade one share of it and see if you could if you could deal with it. It is pretty damn volatile out there. I just wouldn't buy anything right now, guys. Uh, you know, once again, you, the... Um, all the cruise lines got destroyed. I think they're going to probably get some type of a bailout. By the way, if you're interested in a cruise ship, I guarantee you can probably get it for a really cheap price right now. A really cheap price. But look at the cruise stocks. Uh, they've been pretty volatile. Just don't trade too much. Airlines, look at airline stocks. They, um, they're they pretty much moving all over the place. I'm looking at them. You know, uh, But uh, that pretty much... That pretty much does it. Regarding about our normal routine here at Cybertrain University, going through the big percentage gainers and losers, not really the not really the time for that right now. I think I think we maxed out on all these uh, on all these Corona stocks and uh, all these all these other companies. I think everyone basically the cat's out of the hat. Let's focus on brand names. All right. Anything else, guys, that I missed? OPK is moving up pretty nicely. Yeah, that one's moving up to 50%. But it's volatile. It's volatile. Just be very careful. It's extremely volatile, that stock. You know, I mean, it, the stock had a big, big pop. You know, you could see it went up and went down. The thing is moving like, you know, 30, 20, 30 cents a minute. All right, so I'll put that in the watch list, guys. So let's go out and make some money. All right, and uh, don't go anywhere.